Here we go. It's time to find out if I can get Sinful Angelica. Will it take everything I have together? Will I get Spectre Tenebria before her? If I do get Spectre Tenebria, I'm stopping the summoning. If I'm getting uh, Sinful Angelica, I'm stopping the summoning. Because I can pull uh, for whichever hero I don't get on another of my uh, three accounts. So, let's see here. Let's start it off. My god, I have so many Mystic Medals. Just over uh, 11,000. Let's go in there. Okay, so. Ludwig, Iron Fan. Uh, we got lots. Karen, Armin. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And the next rotation. Oh, Alencia is here. Alencia. So you might want to wait for Alencia to be uh, here if you already have, uh, you know, Ludwig. The thing is, yeah, Shuri. I mean, uh, memory imprint for speed is good. And Watcher Shuri, memory imprint, Dark Corvus. Uh, ML Siren, ML uh, Domino, that's all good, that's all good, but anyways, I'm gonna be pulling on this one here, I do need some Iron Fans, I guess I could use that for PvE, and uh, yeah, let's find out if I can uh, get Spectre Ten Tenebria or Sinful Angelica, oh man, the build-up, the build-up up to this point, my inventory uh, for hero and items is full, I'm ready to go, baby, I'm ready to go, it's all going in that infinite inventory, Ah, <sighs> okay. I want that purple shine. That purple shine means Sinful Angelica or Spectre Tenebria. So I'm gonna be just summoning non-stop here until... <sighs> until, I, until I get some shining. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Will it take everything? What if I use everything and I end up getting Spectre Tenebria? And no Sinful Angelica, because, because the rates are actually low. Just take a quick pause here. Here are the rates. To get Sinful Angelica, it's 0.9% chance. There is no pity for her. There is no pity. I do have the Molagoras on this account to... Uh, okay, got some gold shine here. To uh, fully skill up one of them. So I wonder who it's gonna be, man. I wish it's Sinful Angelica. I want Spectre Tenebria as well, but I mean, can't ask for too much, right? If I can lower this pity count counter and get Sinful Angelica, I'm happy with that. I'm definitely happy with that. Now, Spectre Tenebria, I could use her on any of my three accounts, but we'll have to wait and see. Ah. <sighs> Well, good luck with your summoning, guys. This is this is a really uh, nice combo. Uh, Spectre Tenebria and Sinful Angelica. These two ML heroes, man. Uh, yeah, they, they are definitely going to be a lot of fun. Spectre Tenebria, you can use her in so many different areas of the game. That is the biggest plus about her. Like The biggest thing is that you can use her in PV in so many different places and in PvP as well. Just a great hero overall. You invest your Molagoras into her, and you can definitely be uh, proud about that hero. You can bring her in all sorts of places, and that's always good. If you can just build a hero and like bring them in a very specific place, like you know, arena offense only, guild war offense, or just defense, then it's not as exciting, of course. Man, I. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. I, I feel lucky, but you never know, man. You, you never know with these types of games. It could definitely take everything. But I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. So it's okay. I have Mystic Metals, Oriuses. Well, I have plenty of those. This is my first account on the global server. And these four star artifacts, man, I three and four star artifacts. I have so many different copies of them. But it's always dust. Extra dust is not bad. <clears throat> Hopefully I manage to... <clears throat> well, the best thing that could happen would be to get Sinful Angelica. And yeah. That, that, no, the best thing would be Spectre Tenebria early on. That would be the best. And then like on a number, another summoning session, you end up getting like... I end up getting like Sinful Angelica... 
I, I just don't want to have multiple copies of like Sinful Angelica to try to get uh, Spectre Tenebria. As long as I can get Tenebria on another account, I'm all good. So I can showcase all that stuff to you guys. Man, how many summons left? Okay, 151 for the pity. Well, I, I might end up with uh, Spectre Tenebria only. And then that means, well, uh, yeah, maybe multiple Spectre Tenebria. One uh, on each of my account, maybe. I don't know. I don't know about that, but yeah, we'll see. Account number two has something like 70 or 80, uh, you know, on the pity counter. So 70 something summons and I do have uh, Spectre Tenebria. So I'm starting with this account because I have the Molagoras and account number two has the Molagoras as well. Account number three though is on the lower side. Come on baby, we, we need that purple side. What is the odd of Tenebria? <laughs> it's equal man, equal Ludwig and Tenebria same at 0.625. God, the, the worst thing the worst thing about all this is that the four stars, they all have the same chance. Oh man, all these four star heroes that like we might have like multiple copies of, then they just throw Sinful Angelica with the same race. But it's okay, it's okay. Like it could be worse. It could be worse. Like they could have lowered her her uh, odds like even lower than that. Could be the same as uh, Spectre Tenebria. So really, I can't really complain about that. Because anyways, every time you roll, it's a new chance. It, it just doesn't add up, you know? It's like not like, like I'm gonna, gonna do 100 summons and I'm guaranteed to get. No, if, if there's no pity, there's no there's never any guarantee. You might go like thousands of summons and not get uh, whatever you're chasing after the hero, the artifact. So it's definitely rough. Definitely, definitely rough. Magahara's Tome. Okay, that's that's a good one. Oh, let's go, baby! Give us the purple shine! Give us the purple shine, I can't wait! It's happening, I know Spectre Tenebria is happening, but what if I don't even get... I don't even get Sinful Angelica across my three accounts? Okay, okay, we got the artifact, that's good, that's good. Iron Fan, okay. What? I thought I had it. I, I thought I had it on this account. Well, that's good. Great addition. Oh man, let's go! But the gold shine is pretty good. I don't know if it's because I'm going fast or it's just good. But I mean, so far so good. It's all, it's all good. Of course, it's not gonna be like that one summon, uh, you know, uh, uh, like purple shine type of video. But, you know, if I can get any of them in a decent amount of summons, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. It did happen to me like once. I think I got like maybe Fallen Cecilia under a few uh, Mystic Summons. That was like, yeah, that, that was pretty hype. I do have her on my three accounts, so that's pretty insane. Yo, let's go, baby. Let's go. Purple Shine, where are you? Where are you, Purple Shine? There's a higher chance it's Sinful Angelica than, of course, uh, Spectre Tenebria, if it's uh, Purple Shine. But the thing is, when you don't need the RGB 5 star, and you end up getting those, and you're just chasing after that ML Nat 5, oh man. And when you get multiple copies of that RGB Nat 5, oh man, it's painful. It's definitely painful. God. Okay, we're like almost, no, not even, uh, yeah, almost halfway. Let's go, let's go. It was the purple shine. Give it. Give it to me. But I think since Ludwig has been in the game for so long, you guys should definitely wait for Alencia. That that's that would definitely be the 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 better play here. 
I don't actually have her on account number one on this account, but yeah, I, I do showcases. I do showcases. I do all types of Epic Seven videos. So I gotta get the hero ASAP. But it wouldn't be bad if, uh, you know, I, I get, let's say, Spectre Tenebria on this account. And then, like, on another account, I get uh, Sinful Angelica. So I do have the Molagoras on, for, for doing both of them. But like I said, 70-something summons to, for the pity on uh, account number two, which would be the, the next, my, next, my, my go-to account if I don't get, it, uh, get her here. Man, it takes so long to get all these Mystic Medals, though. Guild Wars upon Guild Wars upon <coughs> Hunts. Like, so many uh, Hunt runs. But I've been saving my currency. Like, all my currency, almost all of them. Like, I've been saving pretty hardcore. I'm a free-to-play player across my three accounts. And, man, it, it's month of saving. It's, it's really hard to have that level of uh, control. Yeah, but the thing is, if I have like a, you know, a summoning itch or something like that, I can just summon across my three accounts, so it's not so bad. It feels like a lot of summoning, but like it's spread across three accounts, so it's not so bad. All the, all of the like free uh, bookmarks we get, like galaxy bookmarks, uh, like here, mystic medals and covenant bookmarks, all this stuff, like it, it definitely adds up. But still, it, it, I've been saving for so long. The Mystic Medals especially. Like, I've been waiting for, for so long. Spectre Tenebria is a hero that uh, I've been wanting for like a really long time. And yeah, Sinful Angelica, that, that's just great. That, like, they are both heroes that I do want. So it, 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 it just ends up being perfect. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. All going in the box, baby. That infinite box. I wonder, like, <clears throat> some well accounts, like, how many do they have in that box? Like, they want to, like, <clears throat> you know, like, four star, five star, six star heroes. They're like, I'll just open my box, you know, grab a few copies in there. No big deal. I'm like, you know, just farming these two star fodders to make three stars, to make four stars, to make five stars, to make six stars. They just opened the, the box. They're like, all right, I'll just grab a few copies here, like triple as this uh, this five star hero, like get get it to a six star, <clears throat> real quick. I'll, I'll just uh, like you know make like a billion penguins, get that hero to max level like in the in a, in a few uh, minutes. Oh man, I'm just grinding for three hours th between three to five uh, to four hours nonstop in in adventure or side story, usually adventure with uh my go-to three-star hero aka like lena she she's so good i i showcased her in a bunch of places but she yeah god tier farmer for free-to-play players uh no animation just so quick man I, I love that hero she she's very very good gotta love the fact that she's got attack buff built in uh into her kit every time she she kills she just gets the attack buff and her skill three is available again okay how many Oh man, 58 summons and I get her. Woo! Well, <clears throat> if I can get an N uh, Sinful Angelica before, <clears throat> yeah, that, that would be great. That would be great. <sighs> but the thing is, do I go for, I said I'm not going for Spectre Tenebra if I get Sinful Angelica. Because Molagoras, right? Molagoras, and I can definitely use Spectre Tenebria on another account. Oh man, I don't know. Uh, if you you can always wait two weeks. Usually they announce the next uh, natural five star Moonlight hero, <clears throat> and that could be, you know, the, yeah, that's a great time to wait for. Like, you will know. Like, if you're looking for something new, maybe you already have Spectre Tenebria, but let's say you don't have her and you're on the fence. <clears throat> Just wait for the next announcement for the next uh, ML Nat 5 hero. I do like review 
uh, give my initial, uh, you know, impression, my thoughts about the hero, go check, like, multipliers when they get, like, leaked data, data mine. <clears throat> uh, check all that stuff out, and then you'll get a better idea if you should pull for Spectre Tenebra. But Alencia and Spectre Tenebra sounds pretty good, it's just that Alencia is not as powerful as we initially thought because of the nerf before she got released. On a counter-attack, dual attack, she cannot do... Uh, uh, what was it? Skill 1 and 2, uh, that extra attack of the skill 2 passive. She can't do it. That would be so beast. Oh my god. <clears throat> Can we get the purple shine, man? Oh, the whole thing. Like, yo, almost. It's gonna be like almost that. Like The counter was almost 200, right? 190. So, 191 summons to get Spectre Tenebra guarantee for the pity. Yo, it is rough. This just goes to show you chasing natural four-star Moonlight heroes. Oh, it's it's so rough. It's so rough. If she could just show, like, real soon, before I hit the counter, that'd be perfect. That would be perfect. I could get Spectre Tenebri on another account, Wait uh, with the pity for the next, like, natural uh, five-star Moonlight hero. Oh, that would be perfect. But, of course, it's a gacha game. You know, only the, only the pity is guaranteed. There's only that that's guaranteed. Oh, man, it's getting close. Oh, I hope you guys get better luck than me. I hope you guys get better luck than this. But we're not done. It ain't over till it's over, man. 24 summons. 22 uh, summons now. Uh, like, Sinful Angelica could be there. Could be there. But 0.9%. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah, I mean, keep telling yourself that. It, it's, it's bad. When there's no pity, it's really bad. Like I said, it's it's a roll, it's a new roll every time you, you press that summon button. It doesn't add up. The the odds don't add up, guys. 0 0.9, that's the odd. And 0 0.625 or what or 635, that's the odd for the the five star. Could be the RGB hero, could be the, the ML hero. Yo, how many copies did I get of that artifact? That is actually a pretty solid artifact. I was told like you put that on uh, on row Z. Put that on Rosid and like pair him with Sid in a Guild War. You just two man and you get the buff guaranteed from Silver Rain. And he's just Oh! Purple Shine baby! Oh my god! Oh I don't know how many summons was left, but please! Oh my god, please! Oh it's said for Angelica! She didn't buff from the right! Oh my god, this is perfect! This is perfect, yes! Yes boys, we did it! We did it! Yes! Same for Angelica, nice! Oh my god, I was so close, baby! I told you guys! I told you! It ain't over till it's over! It ain't over till it's over, baby! Yes! Well, I suppose I don't have much choice. But this doesn't mean we're friends, got it? Oh, yeah. Teasing us like that. Whew. Okay! Yo, 14 summons until I got Spectre Tenebria! That was so close! That was so close! Ah, feels good. Feels real good, boys. Okay. The showcase. The showcases. They will happen. I need to power level her. I still need to make some guides. I got Golem 13. I got Banshee 13. Azimadak Hunt 13 to do. Oh, time to power level her and multitask now. Pretty much what I do with three phones, playing three accounts and other games as well. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Ah, oh, feels so good. It's great. Oh. All right, I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. I got players of all sorts for PvE and PvP. Arena, Guild Wars, guys, sit down to the app. And Abyss Floor 62 Plus. So check those out if you haven't. And uh, join my Discord server. The link is in the description. It's free, guys. Come have fun. Over a thousand members if you want to get help or help the community. Share your polls, whatever strategies, PvE, PvP, and all that stuff. Have fun. Stay safe out there. COVID-19 is no joke. Stay home as much as possible, guys. And that's really it for this one. Good luck with all you do. I'm Astronox. Peace out for now.